So etching in the printmaking sense was invented by Daniel Hopfer in around the year 1500. Main artists that use it, Francisco Goya, the Spanish uh, social commentator, Dutch artist, Dutch grandmaster, Rembrandt used it, and on a more contemporary level, someone like Norman Ackroyd uses it quite frequently. I'm going to give you an introduction into zinc line etching. All right, so the first part of etching is you've got to file down the, the, the zinc plate so it helps when printing and it also doesn't ruin the blanket. So for the degreasing, we're using a mixture of a very small bit of ammonia and pumice powder. And all we're doing is we're just putting it over the plate, the zinc plate, like so. So once you've rinsed off your degreasing solution, we take the plate over and then give it a quick dry before applying the wax. Okay, I'm going to use um, hard ground wax for this. So put the wax on the hot plate like so. Take a roller, specifically for hot ground. Roll it, smooth it out, and then apply it to the plate. This will act as the resist when you uh, immerse the plate in the acid. Um, for the drawing part, we're going to use uh, just a standard etching needle onto the hard ground. You want it obviously sharp, the sharper you get, the finer the detail. So when it comes to drawing on the plate, what you actually do is you're removing the wax that you've applied before. Now where you're removing it, that's going to get bitten by the, um, by the acid, which will create an indentation in the plate by which when you apply the ink, it'll fall into those cracks. So uh, before getting your hands dirty, or more dirty, put, the, um, put your paper in the water to soak, and it has to be damped right through to produce the best image. Cool, so before, before etching, you need to prepare the back of the plate as well. Any mistakes, also you can correct them at this stage. So um, when you immerse in acid, the back of the plate's not going to get etched in the slightest. All right, so we'll immerse the zinc plate, you draw an image into the acid, like so, very carefully. I'm going to use a feather now to brush away any of the, the bubbles. Now, like I said, it's been two minutes. At that point, I'm going to remove the plate. Now, hopefully, everything's gone to plan and uh, your etching's engraved into the metal. So we're going to clean off the resist with a bit of white spirit and uh, thus complete the etching of the image. All right, so after your paper soaked for at least 10 minutes, place it in between the two blotters here. You want it to be damp, but you want to take off all the excess water. Um, so I moved over to somewhere a bit cleaner to start the inking up. I'm going to use black ink and we just smooth it over the plate. And once you've got it all covered, you're ready to start using a bit of scrim. This is the scrim, it's like a muslin, and you're just pushing in that black ink into the cracks, into your, into your image. Then we take a slightly cleaner bit of scrim, and we're gonna start removing the excess. Um, once you've got it relatively clean and you're quite happy, then you're ready to start printing. So I'm going to bring this plate over to the press now. Bit of newsprint down first, and then you put your, your etching plate on top. Then as carefully as possible, take your paper, line it up, and place on top of the, of, on top of the zinc plate. On top of that, then get one more bit of newsprint, just to protect the blankets, and place on top of that. Take the blankets, and smooth out any creases. Once you're happy that the, the blankets are flat, you can start turning the wheel. And now we're ready to reveal the artwork. So very carefully, peel away. And there we go, the finished piece. So here we go, this is the final piece. This is the result of a brief introduction into zinc line etching.